Good morning, Nick here. And I got a little cabin fever, so I thought I'd do a video. I found somebody to trade me my FTDX 101 for a brand new ICOM 7610. So, best of luck to that person. All right, my recommendation, don't ever put it on AM. All right, and then for all you guys that close-minded, narrow-minded people who say, it's a ham radio, it's only designed for ham use. Well, guess what? So is this, only designed for ham use. Yet this is a brilliant general coverage receiver. And you're about to find that out because I'm going to compare it to this thing. All right, Yesu, Yesu should be watching this video. Anyway, that's it. I don't want to talk about that piece of crap anymore. It's out of my life, and I'm happy. So, here we are. It's, uh, well, I can tell you exactly what time it is, because this radio doesn't just have one clock. It has two clocks. The other radio, I keep coming back. I say I don't want to talk about it. The other one didn't even have a clock. Okay, it's 11 a.m. Central Time. And if you want to know the UTC, just look right below it. Uh, both on the Wellbrook, going through the Stridesburg multi-coupler. Um, excuse my voice. I'm probably going to cough. I might even sneeze. i uh, running a cold over here. But, hey, that's why I got cabin fever because I'm stuck in a house. Um, all right, so since it's early in the day... <laughs> We have to uh, look up in the, the higher megahertz up here. 49 meters isn't really go, doing anything, any of that stuff down there. So let's cruise around here. Then we'll check out some beacons and we'll check out some 20 meter and who knows, maybe we'll find some other stuff. Anyway, this is not going to be a video on how this operates, but just so that you can tell what I'm doing, these radios are very similar. They both display the current bandwidth right here, bandwidth 6 kilohertz. That's shift. So if I do pass band tuning, you'll see it appear up there. Okay. Uh, there's a picture of the pass band. It's identical on this 9500. Uh, obviously, the mode, this does not have sync. This does have sync. They both have NR, digital noise reduction. Uh, to see the digital noise reduction, you have to look for the light. See the green light there and the white light there, okay? And both of them are set in the neighborhood of like 3 out of 15 or something like that. So they're, the NRs are very low because you get that syntheticness if you run it up. This one actually has two individual receivers. You can actually do diversity receive. All right, but that's going to be a video for how this radio works and operates. This is just the direct comparison of these two radios getting signals this morning here in Texas. And even though the audio on this is awesome, the speaker on this fires up, and I just wanted to kind of make it as even as possible. So I put them both, each on the identical Bose speaker right next to each other, right just above the camera here. So I don't think you can get any closer than that. And I'm going to try to have the volume set at the same output. So anyway, you can mute this one by pushing in on the knob and the light turns yellow. If you push it in, the light will turn, I think, green, and then obviously the mute will go off. For this day, maravilloso, poderoso, this day, transformador, que es el Domingo de Resurrección. ¿Y por qué 40 días? Porque 40 días fueron los días que estuvo Jesús en el desierto. 40 años son los años que estuvo... Powerful, la, shortwave la, signal, la no surprises here. They sound identical. They're both on the same bandwidth as you can see. Actually, no, they're not. Now they are. Well, that's because this one's on the side band. En el tiempo de cuaresma, el color que se usa usualmente es el color púrpura o el color morado. Eh, yo recuerdo que una vez un niño viene a mí, estaba 
estudiando catecismo, un niño tenía, qué sé yo, unos seis añitos, algo así. Y me dice, Padre Pedro, ¿y es cierto que Jesús se vistió demorado porque llegó tarde? Y me dije, no, mijito, Dios nunca llega tarde. Dios siempre llega uh, en el momento correcto. Might just be a factor of more powerful audio, and since they're both said similar, I don't know. Uh, we need an engineer to explain that. But they're both coming in great. That's, this one has obviously has a beautiful, incredible scope. So let's find a weak signal. Tal vez estás pensando, bueno, pues, yo le pido al Señor y me hace. Tal vez estás pensando, bueno, pues, yo le pido al here is that with the sync out of play they're pretty much identical the sync on the 9500 is a good sync it's not the best sync ever made it's a good sync and it works and it works properly and it gives it a slight edge for am broadcast listening for weak stations or stations that fade so yeah cheers to the 9500 for that <laughs> Nothing down here. By the radio, we'd love to have some of it drunk. I mean, very weak station. Basically, we're just checking sensitivity here. is locked. It's not flashing or blinking. Okay. To get this to the other receiver, I hit the change button. Preamp one 
AGC fast, preamp one, AGC fast, 200 hertz, 200 hertz. Apparently I have the, uh, for my friend Diego and Robert, I have the tone set differently, or I have the, uh, what do they call that? The pitch. Oh, I think I can adjust that. Ooh, look at that. They're about identical now. Maybe. This one might still be a touch high, but they're both getting it great. And if I change the span and zoom in, I'd probably have to turn the reference up here. Or I should say, take the DB out of it. Now you can see it. Both doing a great job. appreciate you uh, filling in and helping out. That's the fellow on that control station in uh, Austin, which is about 600 miles, 500 miles north of me. I'm located in Harlingen, Texas. My name is Brian. My call is Whiskey 5 Yankee Echo, and we're taking check-ins from anyone we can hear. Come down. Whiskey Delta 4, Fox Cross, Romeo, Charlie. Change this yet? Dang it! I forgot where it is. Hot Romeo, Charlie. Okay, you're still piled up. I can't make you out. You're going to have to spread them out. Okay, I'll, while you're thinking about how spreading them out, I'm going to go to the Bravo X-ray station. Give me your full call, please. Oh, this is Key Log 1, Mike Bravo, X-ray, K1MBX. Name is Roger. Roger, Roger is the name we're looking Okay, Roger, I do show you in Rutherford Town, Rutherford Town, North Carolina. Roger, uh, thank you very much. Uh, what can I do for you today, over? Well, <laughs> a blind hog gets an acre and every now and then. How about that? <laughs> Rutherford Tun. Rutherford Tun. That's a mouthful, but anyway. Both working very nice. I mean, this scope is a total treat. If this scope was on this radio, I could literally get rid of every other radio I own. In the literally, I I put him in the garbage. That that's I, I mean what I mean by that is that's the price I pay to put this scope on this radio. Yeah. Oh, and incidentally, I would never have bought this radio just to buy this radio, even though it's an incredible great radio. I traded it. I got I traded a radio I absolutely did not want anymore 
for this radio. As you're seeing, this one is it's 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 equal to this. The sync on this for AM broadcast is putting this one a leg up on AM broadcast. Everything else appears to be very very similar. Obviously, this one has the VHF and UHF, UHF and scan and and, and memories on this. Oh, I mean, that's the only thing is you you need to have the manual in your hand if you're trying to, to save or do something with the memory. It's insanity. This thing, you see the MW? That means memory write. You push it and it's done. Okay? This thing, you gotta... Oh my gosh. I don't even want to explain it. 8600 is the same way. ICOM 8600. Same way. Terrible. But it's a great radio. And it's infinitely better than the radio not to be mentioned. Alright. Let's find... Let's see. We Let's... Let's see if there's anything going on on long ways. Great job, over. Okay, uh, that's Ray, and you're in Knoxville, Tennessee. Is that a Roger? Yeah. Four kilohertz bandwidth AM. Right now we're on this radio. See the orange light means mute. Get that grass on the infield growing up a little bit there. both working just fine what else can we do I don't know this early in the day I'm you know a broadcast I mean it's they're both gonna sound great the dual the diversity receive on this one if I would have hooked both of those bows up to this one on each receiver put them both on maximum 10 kilohertz bandwidth and put the diversity receive on on this one on a strong AM signal, it sounds great. Really, really sounds nice. Um, can't think of much else. Let's just go back to... Uh, this is pretty much all that's out there. This time of day. Put the uh, span up. Oh, this one's one second fast. Dang, I have to throw this one in the garbage. Yeah, I set these both two days ago to, at the, to, to the beat. And this one gained a second in two days. This one hasn't changed in two days. Nice. Nice. Okay. So 
hominum et lux in tenebris lucet et tenebre eam non comprehenderunt. Fuit homo missus ad Deo, cui nomen erat Ioannes. Let's see if there's any CB stuff going on. I think they're in the 26 or 27. Sounds like an idiot on CB. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Look at these fools. with that like I said I got a little cold action going on so I just had a little gamma fever wanted to fire these two radios up and see which way the wind was blowing this is the first time I've actually really compared these to each other uh, I was I, I had this radio in the in the other room where the other radio not to be mentioned used to be and I had both Bose speakers hooked to this radio, one on either side, so I could use a diversity to receive. Then I had a, this one has a monitor out, so I had a big computer monitor mounted on top of it. Uh, the same one that was on the other radio. And then, uh, looked great, sounded great, worked great. Very, 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 very happy with it. Uh, and as always, this one always works like a champ down here, this one. But that's it. Um, oh, incidentally, I did a little short video yesterday on uh, that uh, signal from the Antarctic, Antarctic, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, LRA, LPA, something like that, Archangel, 15475.98 USB, and uh, I heard that he increased his output power. And so now most people can get it anywhere. But anyway, I uh, I had it here on both of these radios yesterday. It was booming in here in Texas. Uh, the Wellbrook Loop. And uh, that's about it. So, all right. Thanks for hanging out.